Man, we've pushed uh, pretty far in. This is a pretty ridiculous advance. I mean, we don't even need the majority of the army at this point. The majority of the army is just kind of hanging out. is who is out of supply which sa which half is the one that's out of supply right now um, let's, let's charge in and see no nope, this uh, half still has supplies Last pockets of resistance are now falling. They're using what's left of their air force to try and slow us down. Oh, it's just sad. Oh, yeah, you think I'm going to declare peace now? Not, not when you're just about to fall? beautiful, efficient, killing machine. As <laughs> so we've pretty much invade the, the Canadians have invaded and destroyed America. So, there you go. Well, something along those lines. This is obviously as close as you can get to historical reality. People have told me that once you take all their, uh, oh shit, all their, uh, victory points, then it's game over. So, we just about had them until they took back this province. So, once we retake that, uh, then we'll have all of them. And how long is that going to take? About a week? So yeah, I think that's all their victory points. That went off really well. I'm 
mean, I don't think there was any point during that invasion that I thought we could actually le legitimately lose this war. I thought where I, I, points where I thought, well, this might prolong things significantly. But uh, I never thought that, hey, you know, we're in. This was a bad idea. We might actually lose. And I'm glad that these guys haven't uh, decided to attack. Okay, good. Now we can annex them. Hooray, hooray! Wow, it's over. Well... The Pacific States demand Alaska back. <laughs> no. What are you gonna do about it? Invade me? Come on, come on! I dare you. I dare you, Pacific States of America. Wow, okay. Uh, okay, well apparently I can't declare war on them. Which is a shame. So they will, for now at least, be the last bastion of autonomy in uh, America, unless I co-op them. Actually, I should probably start doing that. Uh, influence them. Yay! Oh, we've got more two divisions. Post them in Ottawa. Let's bring out the entire Canadian Continental Army. And... All right, here we go. The fate of America. After a long fight on the American continent, we have launched a full offensive and forced the Americans to surrender. Washington and the entire fate of America is in our hands. We could liberate them as a strong United States. Uh, we could liberate uh, them into two separate zones. Uh, we can balkanize America, which separates them into a bunch of different areas, or we could just flat out occupy them. I don't want to deal with the hassle of having to occupy them. Uh, I balkanize them. The only problem is that they get uh, they get an independent um, New England, and I want to. I'm going to hold on to New England at least, so I'm going to liberate uh, them into North and South. So I'll give up uh, a lot of my territories or some of my territories. Uh, no. We're not giving back Alaska. It's ours now. So. We've now created two puppet states in America. The, F the Federation, or the Fe eh, Federated Union of America, and of course the United States of America. Um, we're going to hold on to New England. Uh, but we did give back a lot of the territory that we had taken. Such as, uh, you know, Chicago, Detroit, that area. Wait, I'm gonna remove uh, some of these garrison divisions. They are no longer of use. Then take everybody. Send them back home to Ottawa. And yeah, so. Leaves us with two powerful puppet states in our grasp. Of course, I don't want to make a, a powerful America yet again. I want to be top dog. Uh, well, we had to give back New York. Sad day. But we still kept uh, a nice chunk of America. And now we got to decide what we're going to do with the Pacific States of America. Are we going to... I mean, my only choice here is to continually influence them until I can bring them into my sphere of influence because uh, they're a democracy therefore I can't declare war on them but now uh, it's ours now oh no oh our new puppet only has a neutral 
rating with us. Oh, what are you gonna do, America? You gonna you gonna try and invade? Because I think um, we just kicked the crap out of you, and we could do it again if we needed to. Uh, it's ours now. Ah, now they really hate us because. I could probably influence them too. Whoa. We'll make it so they don't hate us. Yeah, this time, if uh, you were to try and break off, uh, we'd invade you. We'd kick you or kick your ass from the south as well. So, America is pretty much screwed. There's no way they're getting back any of their territories. French still have not placed men here, which is upsetting. So now, the question is, where do we go from here? And uh, for those of you asking that question, I'll tell you exactly where we go from here. And where we go from here is uh, we need uh, to take out the German Empire. But the Germans and the Russians are in cahoots with one another, and combined, their army, you know dwarfs ours. So, I was thinking about this. I'm like, what am I going to do? How am I going to plan this invasion? So, here's my current plan, is if we're going to do this, we need influence uh, throughout the world. And we need to be able to take on um, the Russians and the Germans from all potential angles. And how many troops do we have? 80 divisions now. Decide if we really want to take it to the Russians, we're going to need um, to attack them from both sides, and we're going to need influence in the Pacific. So, what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to help my allies take all of India. So that's an, we're going to defeat uh, the syndicates in, in India, and then from there I want to take on the Qing Empire and co-op them, and then we'll have the ability to, once war is declared, to attack from both sides and have a dual-fronted war, which will be much more difficult for our nemesis, to, uh, potential nemesis, to deal with. So that's my plan at this current uh, period of time. So. That's what we're working towards, so next time we're going to have an invasion of India, which I hope will go well. I don't imagine it being uh, too much of an issue. Then we've got a plan for uh, you know, invasion of China. We've got to find a good base from which we can uh, launch said invasion from. Okay, can we declare war? These guys, damn it! I can declare. Oh, no. Maybe I'm gonna have to so slowly influence myself more towards authoritarianism if I wanna. If I wanna be able to be. Because uh... we can declare one of these guys. So I'm going to slowly move myself towards some more authorita authoritarian government, and then we'll be able to uh, take what we need. So, until that time, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been Joseph Fisaran of Salon. Signing off for now, I'll see you guys next time.